everyone, thanks for tuning in for another Seek Science Club video. And today, we are gonna make a pop-up book. Yay! And guess what? Since it is Black History Month, I am going to choose an African-American scientist to reflect in my pop-up book. So let's get started. Let's take a look inside of our kit to see what materials you will need. If you do not have the materials, you can always order from us online at our website, which will be at the end of this video. So let's get started. The materials you will receive from us, paint, also three different colors of different type of acrylic paint. You will receive the hard stock paper. You will also receive a paintbrush. You will receive a rag. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all you're gonna get. So you can have these items at home or you can find them from your local dollar store. In addition, you will need two bowls, which I have here. One will be liquid to clean your paintbrush. And the other one, if you want to put your paint inside the container. First step for making your pop-up book is that you're going to find your cardstock paper, fold it in half, and once you fold it in half, you're going to cut 2.5 inches, or if you wanna do one and a half inch, it's up to you, of two parallel lines. Parallel looks like this, touchdown! Field goal, they're not close together, parallel, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So once you fold it in half, you're going to open it and protrude the two parallel lines that you cut. You're gonna push it in the inside and just fold it. So this will be your actual pop-up, all right? So I'm gonna do another one. Let's put this out. Cause I want to have four pages. Once you have constructed your pop-up book, normally before you do this, you can create your storyline. And for my storyline, I am going to talk about the first African-American woman to ever receive a PhD in chemistry. Her name is Dr. Marie Maynard Daly. So the next step you want to do, once you have your script and where you want to put your pictures, you are going to open up your pop-up book and you will write where you want your script. So I'm gonna write here on the bottom or on the top, however you want, it's up to you based on the position of your picture. If you want your book to be sideways, if you want it to pop up in the middle, if you wanna write across, it's up to you. So I am going to do mine on the side or I may change my mind during the process. And I'm going to decorate the background, okay? And I'm gonna use the paint for that. All right. <laughs> So here is my design, okay? And now I am gonna fold this part. I, well, I need to wait for this to dry, and then I am going to glue my picture on my prompt that I want to be there, and then we'll go from there, okay? Let's review our finished product. So of course, here you have it. We're gonna close it, right? And when you finish making all of your designs, you, you will need to find a blank paper, fold it in half, which I've done that already. You put it in the front of your book and you design the front and then you will open it and see how it looks. So, voila. I'm not gonna do all of them, just to show you how to make your own pop-up book. If you want to continue to make more pop-up pages, 
keep in mind that you would need to glue your pages back to back on each other like this. So it will look like this. You have your cover. This will be glued on the back of this. Open it. The next one, you will glue this on the back. Next story, picture goes there and so forth and so on. So let's talk a little bit about Dr. Marie Menard Dowdy. She is the first African-American female to receive her PhD in chemistry in the history of the United States of America. Why did she want to major in chemistry? Her love for chemistry stemmed from her dad. Her dad went to school for chemistry. However, because of life, things happened. He wasn't able to receive his degree. In addition to that, her grandfather had tons and tons of books in an enormous library. So she found a book called Micro Hunters and reading that book inspired her to major in chemistry. So I hope you learn a few facts during this month of black history and we'll see you soon. Bye.